Let's say you're at a coffee shop with your computer, but someone snatches it while it's unlocked. What happens now? Well, if your browser saves your login credentials, they'll have access to those. Full disk encryption is normally great, but goes out the window as the system is already unlocked and they can access all of your files. And worst case scenario, they could even gain access to your password manager with all your credentials if your password manager happened to be unlocked. Well, that's why this device exists. It's called the bus kill. So if the laptop is stolen, your device automatically locks. Let's talk about this after a quick message from our sponsor. If you like open source products like the bus kill, you'll also probably like Notesnook, who's the sponsor of this video. They're an open source end-to-end -end encrypted note-taking program that also has bookmarking and so many other tools to help organize your life. Whether you're a student, or you have sensitive business meetings, or you just want a place where you know a big tech company isn't collecting every single thing you type, it's kind of the perfect place for them. They have a super generous free plan that you can try out to see if it works for you. They're available on pretty much every operating system, so you can get started right away right now, even in the web, as you know I love the web apps. And of course, they develop everything publicly, as it's all open source, and you can track the roadmap and keep up with all the newest stuff. Check out Notesnook down in the description. They're a fantastic service and they're free to try. Thank you Notesnook for sponsoring our content and now back to the review. Buskill is a dead man's switch for your laptop. It consists of two parts, a USB cable with a trigger mechanism and a companion app. The trigger mechanism is kept on your body and the USB cable connects to your laptop. The app, when activated, monitors the connection and takes an action of your choice if that connection is severed. So now, if your laptop is stolen, while bus kill is activated, your computer can either be locked, shut down, or completely wiped of its data. Yeah, it's pretty legit. And that all happens automatically, assuming the laptop just comes away from your body. Another really cool thing is it's all open source and not just the software, but the hardware too. So you can 3D print all of this at home. Pretty cool. For us mortals who don't just have access to a 3D printer, you can still buy it from their site or authorized resellers, and they even host an Onion site and accept Monero for more private transactions. So good stuff all around. Now, despite this seeming complex, it's actually really easy. So you choose between a kit or a cable. I got the kit, so I don't have to DIY anything. Take it out of the box and connect it to yourself. The clip attaches to jeans really well. Connect it to your computer. Unfortunately, they only ship with USB-A, so your two options, if you use a C-only machine, is to DIY your own C cable, which they detail on their GitHub, or you can just use an adapter like me. Next, the software is already on the bus kill, so you should be able to access the software as if it's a USB flash drive when you plug it in. The app will notify you of any available updates, or you can check manually. It is also on GitHub, but just be aware that it's probably not as secure as updating from the one on the device. From there, open the app and configure the single setting, which is the trigger. I set it to lock my screen so I don't risk data loss if I'm in the middle of editing something in public and it disconnects. That could be a bad false positive. You can also set it to shut down here instead, uh, but then you might lose your data in the event where it's accidentally triggered. Now from here, just click ARM and be sure to test it out and you're good to go. So here it is with the lock screen trigger. I'm just gonna activate it and you see it disconnects and boom. That was the shutdown trigger that I accidentally <laughs> just triggered on camera. But yeah, no, it just shuts down and uh, that's, that's it. So you gotta be careful with data loss with that one as I just proved it can be triggered pretty easily. My only complaints are the lack of USB-C and there's this window scaling issue on higher density displays. Michael, who's behind Buskill, told me they're working to fix this, but it's a nitpick that doesn't impact functionality. Lastly, on macOS specifically, their program isn't notarized, which requires going into the settings to open it up. This isn't their fault as it costs money to do this and they don't want to go forward with it, but it was just a minor inconvenience during setup. So worth mentioning. Now this all sounds great on paper, but let's cover some important stuff here. Your first thought may be what happens if an attacker knows you have one of these and then uses their own bus kill as well in an attempt to like swap them uh, to prevent the activation of the trigger. 
That's not possible. Once this action is triggered, there's no undoing it. Everything being open source is fantastic for transparency, and while the app is bare bones, that's also what makes it painfully easy to use, which is a win. Your options on macOS and Windows for trigger options are to lock your computer out or shut it down, as I've demonstrated. Both are fantastic protections for a common situation where your device is stolen. On Linux, you get access to an option to wipe your whole device and even custom scripts if you're smart enough to write something of your own that could do something like send people a message or uh, whatever you want it to do. It's, the possibilities are pretty endless. Some people have asked about Bluetooth. If there's a way to do this wirelessly, um, it is wired only, which fundamentally I do agree with. It keeps things very reliable. Uh, while this could probably be done with Bluetooth, Bluetooth range is pretty inconsistent and it wouldn't be as secure, whereas wires are very binary. You're either safe and plugged in or you're not. Now, who's this for? If you're a regular person with an average tolerance for threats, buskill is not required. But I would still ask you, what is your recourse and what is your plan of action if someone steals your laptop from you while it's unlocked? Even without bus kill, you should have an immediate plan of action and consider reducing timeouts for things like your password manager to reduce the likelihood that if your device is stolen, they can just pull up all your passwords. From there, if you're a person of interest, like if you're a celebrity, a CEO, or just anyone who has wealth or a reason to be worried about some kind of theft of your device, Buskill is kind of a no-brainer as there's no other clean solution to accomplish this. This can include lawyers, financial professionals, crypto traders, and anyone else who feels like they're in a greater risk. The more you work in public and the riskier your work is, um, the more likely this is something that you'll benefit from. It's kind of like an XY axis. We'll, we'll leave a visual here. And finally, most importantly, activists should probably all have this. Of course, there's the infamous story of Ross from the Silk Road being caught in a public library by them getting his device before he could lock it so everything was unencrypted. But rather than questioning the legalities of Ross in that whole case, the important takeaway from that situation is that the threat is very real for people who are activists. A stolen, unlocked device could mean a death sentence for certain activists, depending on where they are, and this is where the bus kill shines the brightest. Initially, I was skeptical about bus kill. I thought it'd be a bit too extreme of a tool for me, but I found it super user-friendly. It's actually crazy simple to use. If you require the highest level of data security and have significant assets to protect, the cost is very justifiable. But I do understand also that the price point might seem steep for some people who don't feel they need the security. But it's also worth noting that Buskill is priced similarly to other security hardware. If you buy two new YubiKeys, which is how you should do it, or many other cryptocurrency wallets, it will cost more. So. In short, if you need this, it could be a lifesaver. If you don't need it, then I hope you never do need it because uh, once you need it, it's probably too late. I did an interview with Michael that will be live soon, so stay subscribed to catch that to get the whole story behind this product and how they put it together and get more technical information. And thank you, Michael, for sending us this review unit to play around with. It's a pretty nifty tool. And I also wanna thank our sponsor, Notesnook, for making this kind of content possible, as well as all our supporters who allow us to stay independent. If you wanna see 10 daily privacy tools that I use on a daily basis, go check out this video right here. People really like that one, so. I'm inclined to share it because people like it. So we'll see you next time on TechLore.